So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side. So today we will be solving yet another problem of POTD and today's problem is Kth common ancestor in BST. Okay, so what does the problem say? The problem says that you have been provided with a BST, a binary search tree, right? I think that you have a clear idea of what a BST is. We have been discussing this from loop uh, in the previous four to five days, right? Okay. So we have a BST, we have been given the value of two nodes. In this case, it is 51, which is located here and 66, which is located here, right? And we have been provided with the K. Now, what does K signify? So if you remember some time ago, we discovered the problem of lowest common ancestor. What does the problem say? So the problem says that 51 has come from 52, 55, and then 50, right? And similarly for 66, 66 is coming from 65, 55, 50, right? So if I say what are the common nodes uh, which might be the parents of 51? Not exactly parents, but somehow related, like 51 has emerged from them. So the nodes here are 50 and 55, which are common among 51 and 66, right? Okay, now among these nodes, 55 is the lowest common node. Lowest common ancestor means that the first node where they might have been split upon. 51 and 66 were going hand in hand up here and then they get split it up, right? So 55 is my answer for lowest common ancestor. But the question says that it doesn't want the lowest common ancestor. It in fact wants the kth common ancestor. That is, it is the first common ancestor it is a second common ancestor. So I want the k equals to 2. That is this common ancestor. That is 50. Okay. So my answer for this question will be 50. Hope you liked it. Hope you get it. What I am saying, trying to say. Right. Okay. So the approach of this problem is going to be similar with the lowest common ancestor. Right. In the lowest common ancestor, what did we do? We went to the 50. We saw that is 50 equals to 51? No. Is 50 equals to 66? No. Is 50 less than 51? Yes. And 50 less than 66? Yes. So it the common lowest common ancestor might be on the right side because 50 is less than 51 as well as 66, right? So I went, went, went here. Is 55 less than 51 and less than 66? Like what I'm saying is if the node's value in this case 55, x is 51, y is 66. If 55 that is node's value is less than x and less than y. Okay. If as 55 is less than x and less than y, the lowest common ancestor, which is abbreviated as LCA, is present on the right subtree. Right? Because I am on the lesser value, I will have to go to the more value. And right contains more value. Right? If 55, that is node's value, is greater than x and y, both, both, and it is an and, so both, okay? So LCA will be on left. But what if the case that 55 is lies between x and x and y? Lies between x and y. That is, it is greater for x, it is lesser for y, or it is lesser for x, it is greater for y. In that case, LCA is 55 nodes. LCA is that node. Why? Because if 51 is present in this subtree and 66 present in this in the right subtree. Then the main node which where the where the values split upon are this uh, is this 55, right? I hope you get it. I hope you get it. So let so in that case I found the LCA. But I'm not solving the problem for LCA, I'm solving the problem for kth common ancestor. So what will I do? I'll say, hey, what did we do here? Isn't this the path from root? To LCA. This is the path from root from the LCA, right? This is the path from root to LCA because after LCA, all the nodes in the path from root to LCA are gonna be the common parents of X and Y. Are you clear upon that? I'm saying after finding LCA, all the nodes. among path 
from root to LCA are the common ancestors of X and Y. Is there any doubt among this statement? This statement is really important for you to understand, right? So I'm saying I will draw out the LCA. So I have got my 55 in me, with me. I will draw the path of LCA from root. So my path will be 50, 55. And then I will operate accordingly for k equals to 2, right? So for that, we will have to write the code for LCA and for path. Okay, so writing the code for LCA, I have got my root, right? I have got my X and I have got my Y. So it's simple, if my root doesn't exist, if my root equals to equals to null, in that case, I cannot do anything, I will return null, right? Otherwise, if my roots data is less than x and similarly roots data less than y, both the conditions pertains. In that case, return LCA from roots left with the same value x and y, right? Otherwise, if roots data is greater than x and greater than y in that case simple the above statement but it is right now okay otherwise the question can be that i'm standing on x and y something like that so 55 61 and i have to find the lowest common ancestor for 55 and 61 only so 51 is the answer here because 55 is emerging from 55 and 61 is also emerging from 50, uh, 55 so my answer is this so if root data equals to equals to x or I am using an or here roots data equals to equals to y in that case return root okay otherwise if the root lies in between so else case is return root so I hope you get it what I am trying to say if I am lesser than value of both I'm going left if I'm greater than value of both I'm going right if I'm equals to value of anyone I'm going uh, I'm returning the same root otherwise I'm returning the same root because this signifies root lies in between X and Y right so hope you were able to understand it right okay let me dry run it for you for the same tree right 50 I'm drawing the tree again so 50 40, 35, 45, 40, 35, 45, 55, 52, 65, 66, 51, right? So we have started a traversal from 50. We have called the function of 50. 50 says, is it less than 51, less than 66? Yes. So go to right so i went to 55 from here 55 says is 55 less than 51 66 no is 55 greater than 51 56 no is 55 in between yes so in that case return 55 so it will return 55 and this will run 55 to me simple right i don't think that this problem has got any more any problems to you right okay so this will return me the lca node this will return me this okay now I have to write a function to get the path from this node up till the root node, up till the root node because that are the common paths, right? So what will I say? Let's say the uh, name of the function is path, okay, path to root. And what will I do is I will take my root here. I will take my LC I found, okay, and now. What will I do? I will say path dot push back root and then if roots data is greater than root is greater than LCA right is greater than LCA data in that case go towards right same function for right so path to root for roots 
right and similarly if it is less than in that case roots left right same code otherwise if it is equals to equals to I cannot do anything I will not do anything I will just say else if roots data equals to equals to LCA data in that case return so let us try on it how will this code work right okay so I started out from the uh, path is a vector I will send by the reference uh, in the function only and I will obtain my path also path here uh, in the down function also right so I hope you would understand that okay so I will uh, try run it for you so I have started my function f for 50 and 55 right this not 50 this not 55 right path dot push back root so my path contains 50 now if roots data is greater than LC data no it is not greater this is actually smaller so go towards left okay I went towards left Oh, sorry the inequality have to be changed it is less than it is greater than if it is less than then I have to go right okay so if it is less than data I have to go right okay so if I went right I am here now again path dot push back data so 55 is my another node and after that this statement will be false this statement will be false and this statement will work that is roots data equals to equals to LC data and I return it so this will be my path this will be my path I actually wanted that only okay now I wanted k equals to 2 now okay I wanted k equals to 2 and my k equals to 1 for this k equals to 2 for this my size is n equals to 2 so I actually want n minus k this is index 0 this is index 1 so I actually want n minus k okay so I will return path n minus k but 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 there is an exception it might be possible that there are no k nodes if size of path is less than k that is the nodes given doesn't have if the nodes given does not have uh, k number of ancestors k number of common ancestors in that case return minus 1 okay so I will check if path dot size is greater than is less than k I will return minus 1 okay so I hope the approach was clear to you okay so let us discuss the code here now so if I go to the coding section and code it down real fast for you so what will I say I'll say my node star LCA equals to of LC of root x y this function LCA will tell me the uh, lowest common ancestor right after that I will create a vector int path this will show me the path of lc to node so I will call the function f let us name it as f so f of root lc and path and after that if path dot size is less than k in that case return minus 1 else return path of n minus k okay so let us implement the lca function real fast so lca is returning me a node so node star lca taking a node node star root and nodes nothing else it is taking values in text int y so my first condition is if my root is null in that case i cannot proceed so return null okay otherwise if my roots data is equals to equals to x or roots data is equals to equals to y in that case return root otherwise if my roots data is smaller than both of the values is is less than x and roots data is less than y in that case return LCA of roots actually my data is less okay so I have to go towards right so I will go towards right and I will send x and y as it is right and this will be else if 
right so else if my roots data is greater than both of them so if my roots data is greater than both of them i have to check my left subtree roots data is greater than y in that case return the same but for left left x y okay otherwise else in that case that means x is lying on the one subtree y is lying on the another subtree they are both on the different subtree so that means my root is the lowest common ancestor so i will return that root return root okay so this is the function for lca and i now have to tell the function for path so void and i have named it as f so void f taking in node star root node star lca and vector int taking by reference the vector path okay so if oh first of all i have to push the value right so path dot push back roots data because i have to return the int only so i will just push back data okay now if roots data equals to equals to lca data in that case return only return because it is a void okay otherwise else if roots data is greater than lca data is greater than lca data so i have to go towards left to match my value to the lca right so i will go f of roots left and rest of the things remain same else that means it is less only that condition is left so in that case f of roots right and lca and path right return to end the marking of the function okay let us try to run it i hope it runs fine and in the meantime if you have not subscribed to my channel i would like you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as you can okay so it is taking a while oh it hasn't given something oh return spelling is wrong sorry for the mistake guys sorry for the mistakes guys sorry for the spelling mistakes and they are the part of the coders life right okay so it is taking some time with the LG compiler. Running fine. Let's try it for submit now. So you can see the counter going up and it is 110 days free. Thank you for all your love and we will be doing the another problem tomorrow. Till then keep coding, keep improving yourselves and see you tomorrow. Bye.